Hope everybody's having a good day today. This is November the 12th, 2017. Some more stuff that's been breaking is a bunch of stuff on what they call Pizzagate. Well, I did four videos on October 1st, you know, about a dream that I had, you know, about eating pizza at my mother's house and daily airplane and the prayer that I bowed my head and prayed, you know, to bless the food, you know, to thank God, you know, for the provision, you know, was in this dream. And I had four different videos about scriptures and that dream I had on 2 2016 about pizza and then not knowing at the time it did it, that it was pizza gate and you know barely you know even hearing the word of pizza gate you know as of october 1st at least it was for me and since there's a whole lot more you know about the children stuff you know that's coming out this last week with Podesta and all that that I had no idea really about too much till about a month ago I saw it on TV. I would go watch those four vids that on this same channel that are dated 10-1. Just type in 10-117, the Pizza Gate airplane, and you can read the dream and the scriptures and stuff I pointed out. And... You know, I think they're between six and eight minutes long. That's one thing there. Another thing that's going on too, is I've said a lot about the solar eclipse, so I'll just point this out. You know, in Ezekiel 13, it talks about the wall and the mortar and things like that. Well, just think like children, what do you call it when you put the mortar into the wall, build a stone wall, you know, or a brick wall or whatever. What do you call the profession? And then the debt was 33 years and 33 everything all over that solar eclipse. And all these things happening in America and... That's not my way of doing stuff. I read the Bible to get my information and interpret everything according to the Bible. And I let it stay there. And But God does expect us to search things out so we can know truth and steer clear of things that can be harmful. That's the second thing. My words have failed, and i just be honest about something. Having a mild bipolar disorder and being an Aspie, that means, you know, somebody on the autism spectrum, makes it real hard in my moods, and I slip in my moods, and I admit I don't want to say the words. But, you know, I'll slip before I can get a handle on it, or I'll just go on and vent. And I lack self-control and I fail in that area. And my worst failure probably out of any of them is in my tongue. And being honest about it, to pray about it. And, you know, your moods go up and down like a roller coaster. That makes it hard on you. And that's just not easy, but... I come to find out that Paul besought God three times to remove a thorn that kept afflicting him and God said that his grace was sufficient. And then Elijah got depressed right after the victory, getting rid of, I think it was 400 prophets of Baal, it was 400 something, I just know Elijah got depressed right after it and I think God besought him in the cave three times and Job cursed the day he was born and at times I admit I've fallen short in that area fallen short 
and chapter 3 of Job, and then chapter 7, he bewailed, and then some other places he lamented. You know, Job lamented his manhood, and Moses got frustrated when they murmured. And I think it was in Numbers that he got so frustrated that he asked God to kill him. And so there was failing there, and, and they weren't any different. You know, they weren't without sin. And that just goes to show you we need a Savior. And I hope he takes, I, I really do, I hope he takes my sin from me. I really do because I don't enjoy, you know, failing like this. And then the, another thing was 11-11 Veterans Day. I dreamed just this one little short phrase. And all it was was 11-11. Uh, it said, and it was Centralia. And then the connotation came up and it was Centralia, Missouri. And that was all phrase I woke up and dreamed that 11-11-2017. Hope you enjoyed it.